Out the Box TV, your man Roj. Your boy DJ Primetime 256. Don't forget the 256. Man, we love talking to legendary artists. Mm -hmm. Soul artists. Soul music is my fave. Soul music. Yeah, so I had to pull Like, hey, like, 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 salt and pepper and hot sauce on your grit soul. Wow, you put hot sauce on your grit? Yeah, and salt and pepper. Oh. Somebody be, that's, some folks be putting sugar. That's not, that's not so so. Thankfully, he has two fly toilet paper. We're going to talk more about that in just a minute. My man, Anthony Hamilton, in the building. We got a lot to talk about, man. Just catching up with him, and you know, he's always a movement. So always. We're going to talk about it. Let me tell you, if you're out there on the internet, you're sitting on your couch, you're in your car, I just want to let you know, for this episode, if you're cool, I'm cool. We're cool. <laughs> Out the box TV. Starts right now! <laughs> Did you miss me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your boy Ro J. Thank you. Sounds so good, don't it, people? DJ Prime Time 256. DJ Prime Time 256. Let's get it. Let up. DJ Primetime 256. Don't forget the 256. We always talk about how we speak to legends, right? How we talk to legends and we just know legends. Legends, legends upon legends, legends, legends upon legends, yeah. right? Another legend in the building. And I'm your man, Anthony Hamilton. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> What's good with you, Anthony? Man. <laughs> What's going on? So we're I'm officially good, good, like a good two decades plus in the game. Absolutely. What has been the most fulfilling part of your journey now, up until now? I think performing the songs that people love and seeing the reaction of the fans and seeing those songs come to life okay. each night. Yeah, that part. 
Now, and being able to get some groceries. Okay, and get some groceries. <laughs> I love that. Soul sure. food. Speaking of soul food, man, you have this, we, we joke about it all the time yeah. on the internet. We hear this man sing, and you want to fry some, cook some collard greens, do some like, where do you draw this, this, yeah. this certain energy, this Anthony essence? Where do you draw that from, and how do you feel mm -hmm. that was going to be like your trademark? You know, just church, okay. down home, uh, southern boy, man, and stay connected to my roots. It sounds like family. You know, sounds familiar to me. It feels familiar, and it's just, it's just how it came out. It's just and how it came out. Yeah. You said it's south in your roots. I spoke to you early on the way mm -hmm. in, and I yeah. said, I said, welcome to Huntsville. He said, welcome back. So, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> what is your connection to Huntsville and to the city of Huntsville? Well, you know, uh, a lot of my hit records mm -hmm. came out of Huntsville. Mm -hmm. uh, Kelvin Wooten. Yes, sir. Absolutely, one of the, my most uh, amazing. Producers. We actually did a song last night that's incredible. Oh my God. See, yeah. In the city working. Yeah. You, yeah. Can't, you can't do a show. Yeah. You, you, you're working. Man, <laughs> you, you have to get it in, man. And yeah, he, he's done her heart. He did Cool, mm. uh, Never Love Again, um, Song for Django. Shout out to Kevin Yeah, man. man. So he's. he's, he's Alabama a &M. Yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> One thing I got to say for sure, like I can mm -hmm. tell you a handful of my favorites. I'm just going to name three of them. Okay, I'm just going to give you three of my favorites right now. The point of it all made me want to kick somebody door in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> made me want to kick somebody door in yeah. for real, for real. Uh, oh my God, can't let go. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Like, yeah. I'll be on the floor. Like, I've been being through this situation <laughs> yeah, yeah. when I sing that. And then, of course, um, you got the song that you did with uh, David Banner Cool. Oh. That's just such a vibe. Like, that's to me feel like springtime with the windows down. Yeah, yeah. You know, that mm. type of situation. I got a dope story about cool. Okay, mm. give me the story. Dope story about cool. I uh, opened at the Orion Amphitheater last year. Okay. And I was trying to figure out what is a song, a down south soulful song yeah. that would connect to the audience. Yeah. Right. And the first song I came out to was cool. Oh, wow. Right? That's good. And yeah. I just looked at everybody and everybody was singing right back to me. <laughs> yeah. Like when you talk about cornbread, we ain't talking about Jiffy's cornbread, right? <laughs> yeah. Nah, you got to put them. I ain't going to give you the hell with the, the, the corner store. <laughs> Come on man. now. You know, I got my own farm. <laughs> you know, you know there's like method acting, right? You know, the actors that like yeah. dive deep into this role mm -hmm. that they're doing. But like when you're putting your albums together, like some of the stories you're telling. Yeah. If you necessarily been through all these situations. I've been through all of them. I've mm -hmm. seen them. Or I've smelled them. I've, you know, I've heard them. So yeah, all this stuff is just real, like real life. Okay. Yeah. Does it's it been does it drain you at all? I know some people. Mm. It's like you're reliving situations. Like, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay going through it, and I'm you know, and you heal from it, but mm -hmm. you don't forget it. But but there's a different. It has, you know, it has a different effect on you gotcha. as opposed to it being painful. It's it's now it's like okay, I made it through that. This is the better half. Of
recently, you got some stuff with some bop in it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and you was gonna pull out a blank. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cause she was gonna make you blank, and you was gonna, now we ain't reliving no moments, but can you tell us a little bit about that too? You know, me, I, I was, you know, me and the baby, we, we, uh, we performed on the Grammys, mm -hmm. and the night after that, we went directly into the studio, and that's what we came up with. And then we sat back and listened, and it was like, okay, this is like a Mr. Biggs, R. Yes. Kelly yeah. kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. And so we, we knew where to go, and, you know. We, we knew that story all so well. So, so, so yeah. long story short, all I'm hearing at the everything you said, it doesn't matter what you're there for, you always gonna work. Oh, it's yeah, the we, consistency yeah, yeah, with the work. It doesn't yeah. matter what yeah. happens, you always gonna work with it. Yeah, when you love something mm. and you get with people that you, you, you respect and you enjoy working with, it's just, it's just almost like going to the playground. Mm. Yeah. You know? And he, let me tell you how, let me tell you how, how yeah. well he plays with others, though. Let me, let me tell you. <laughs> because, like, you would think that the, the collaboration with the baby is kind of weird, but this man has worked with, like, David Banner, Lil John, all them. But on the flip side, Drake. you work with Keisha Cole mm -hmm. and Jill Scott and all this. So how, yeah. how, do you, how do you make sure that you're able to navigate through all avenues as far as the music game? Remain Anthony Hamilton through it all, yeah. and it works out. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, people that work with me, whether they call me or call them, we know what to expect, mm -hmm. and we we, it's it's deliberate. Okay. Like, you know, when Drake called me, I worked with him. He knew exactly what he was going to get, Anthony Hamilton. Um, and when I called out uh, for Jennifer Hudson, I knew that I was going to put my Anthony Hamilton with her, okay. Jennifer Hudson, and it was going to make magic. So you just know what you're getting into, and you know what brands you 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 mingle with. Gotcha. Now he he makes you no. Know, now earlier in the interview, he mentioned the fact that you know performing these records. It's fulfilling for him. So mm -hmm. we know you do it for the love of the fans and the love Absolutely. of the music. But we like to be recognized sometimes. Yeah. And I'm just trying to figure out who on the Grammy committee I need to slap. Uh. <laughs> you only got, you got like 17 nominations, but you yeah. only got one out of, from what I read, only one Grammy out of this situation. I know yeah. we, always talk, we, all, we always talk about it with the scammies or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. just have you. Yeah. But like, just the fact that you're recognized but mm -hmm. still slept on, how do you navigate through that? You know, the fans always give you um, the testimonials and, and, and things that, you know, mean so much to you because it's genuine. It comes from a genuine mm -hmm. person who really lived life and are really connected to you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, corporations and organizations, they can give you rewards or awards or whatever. And, that, and that's good, too. Mm -hmm. But See, somebody's I, life changed mm -hmm. because of your music. That's, yeah. that's big. I, I was going to say, now, I, I slept on them, too, mm -hmm. but I cried myself to sleep. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. it was. It was doing the process of singing the songs and going through it because yeah. I lived it, and it hurt. Yeah. And it's, the situation. hey, when, I can't sing at all, yeah. but I felt like I could sing through the pain. Yes. Yeah. And I cried myself to sleep, but we ain't going to talk about something. <laughs> I feel that now. I've done that. <laughs> yes. And there's a new wave. Uh, R&B is kind of yeah. on a new wave now. Mm -hmm. It was for a while people said R&B was dead and was getting upset with the the way R&B was going. Yeah. Now it's kind of coming back to what we're familiar to. Yeah. Um, even through those changes where people were saying that R&B was dead, like mm -hmm. was that some kind of take some of that stuff personal when their music listeners or they feel like they're not getting what they want from the genre that you love so much? You know, it, everything, it shifts. Things mm -hmm. shift and music changes and, and the younger generation have a different way of, of expressing themselves. And sonically, it's, you know, times change. And you have to be able to, to maneuver through it and find the good in all of it. Um, but it wasn't a slight to me. It's just like, there's R&B. You just got to know where to find it mm -hmm. and who to listen to. Right. And, uh, you know, you show up and show them. Like, we, we're still here. And we're, we're still, still doing here. This man's yeah. kicking down doors. I think <laughs> last that was uh, the new black. Love is the new Love black. Love is the new black. That's the yeah. latest one that I remember playing. And I was like, this man yeah. consistently drops these tracks. And and, yeah. and giving us, you know, you made a full timeless movie. classic music, <laughs> man, and I, I believe in it, and yeah, that's that's my thing. I know we got some samples out here. Uh huh. Where he at? Where he at?
What can the fans look forward to coming for the rest of the year from Anthony Hamilton? You know, more music, more cornbread, more grits, <laughs> Hamilton, <laughs> Hamilton Corner Store to be in all stores, um, new music, and uh, yeah, for me to continue to be a part of this, this thread called Great Black Amazement. We yeah. appreciate all yeah. of the black amazement that yeah. you bring to the people, all right? Absolutely. All right, man. we know you're going to kill the stage tonight. I have to, man. <laughs> y'all be sure to follow my man, Thank Anthony you. Hamilton, on all social media platforms. Follow, 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 follow. And uh, y'all get all the information on OutTheBoxTV.com as well. That's right. Make sure you follow us, OutTheBoxTV, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, OutTheBoxTV.com. Let's <laughs> Yeah. yeah.